This servitor's been drained. No, mauled. I see a name carved into it. Rexus Vaughn, the hangman. I've got a lead on him. That's one of Spider's servitors. It might help us out if we free it. Only to the fallen. They create the ether that the fallen need to survive and grow. It's shocking that the scorn, who were once fallen, would even attack servitors. Let's get out of here, Guardian. I don't want to think about what he did to Cade. Two Barons down, six to go. Then Aldrin. This glimmer is encrypted with a signature. Araskis, the trickster. She's a coward who hides behind traps and flunkies. Bet we can find an informant somewhere around here. It's rigged to blow! If a shipment of these rigged engrams ever made it to the last city, we can't let that happen. Engram fabricators are destroyed, and I traced the source of the trickster's broadcast. Bad news? The trace was way too easy for someone called the trickster. <laughs> Welcome, Minion of <laughs> She's rigged the ammo, too. end. If we want to go deeper, we'll have to blast our way in.
disable that splinter mine, or this whole place will blow. Where am I? How did you stupid cop on can knowing? But not you! <laughs> Red Legion ships above us. Must be the Cabal the bomber mentioned. Let's follow them. We have to leave. Hurry! No matter what the bomber said, you're not a murderer. Guardians are defenders of the light. Four barons down. We just have to remember. We're doing this for Cade. This is a synaptic amplifier, a mind control device specifically calibrated to interface with the hive. We're on the trail of the Baron called the Mindbender. I've traced the original signal to a nearby cave. Let's check it out. Another amplifier. I need a minute to triangulate the signal's origin. <laughs> Got the coordinates. The signal's coming from that crashed tomb ship. This one has a safeguard. I'll need a minute to disable it. That's the last amplifier. The signal we're tracking now is from the source. The Mindbender. This guy's file says he's obsessed with creating his own throne world a pocket dimension in the Hive's Ascendant Plane. When the Hive kill powerful beings, their throne worlds increase in size. 
But that should only work for the hive. This big. Oh, Kate. We've got to go. This place is destabilizing. I want to think Cade can rest easier, now that the throne world built from his death has been destroyed. Six names off our list. Only two left, then Aldrin. Maybe Petra or Spider has a lead on the Machinist and the Fanatic for us. Greetings! Look at you. <laughs> If our prodigal prince is not yet afraid of you, he should be. Six down, yet the strongest three remain. Of the prince and his pet fanatic, reports are few. However, your bloodbath has forced the machinist out of hiding. Moreover, I hear she's amassing great quantities of corrupted ether to grow the fanatic's depraved armies. When you pay the machinist a visit, I urge you to destroy any and all caches of their vile ambrosia. By the way, death suits you. I do enjoy your visit. I understand your visions have taken the form of trees. I've seen them too. I went back to Io for answers. The last place the Traveler touched. Io will react to your arrival. If you let it. down right in front of the crater where the traveler touched Io. Was that? Whatever you saw was for you and you alone. The Traveler is speaking to you. Eyes up, Guardian. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death.
These are different from the other trees we saw. These visions are constructs of the Traveler's Light, and light reacts to its surroundings. Arden grows in both directions. It grows into tomorrow and yesterday. The red flowers bloom forever. The Taken can see the trees. No, they sense the light. The Taken are weeds, Guardian. Pull them up. You might have been kings and queens of the deep, but you have toppled the and you have not replaced 